we went and negotiated for credit on all our petroleum products. Mm. So we've negotiated to ease the pressure on the dollar. In fact, many importers were finding it difficult to get dollars to import raw materials. We have since sorted out that problem. The liquidity around the dollar market has improved. Okay. We've allowed the, the dollar to find its own level. We are not artificially managing the exchange rate because managing it artificially costs us money. So we have a, an, an issue there. So when I came into office also, I found that we had commitments of 900 billion Kenya shillings on the roads. Yeah, 900 billion. I have tried to work with the uh, uh, various departments, Terra, Kura, Tenha, to try and understand how do we manage this 900 billion. We've tried to cut it down. We've tried to stop some of the roads that have not started. We've died. But we still remain with close to about 680 billion that we have to manage. If I have to complete these roads, I need extra money to do it. And every place I go, I was yesterday in Nyandarwa. Communities, people, leaders tell us, we need a road here, Mr. President. We need a road here. Mm -hmm. We need to finish the Baumau roads. You need to finish this. You need to do this. We need an extra road. They were even telling me there's a road called Kinamba to some place. So that whole equation changed. But what have I done? I have said yes. We're going to increase VAT by 8% for two reasons. Mm -hmm. Number one, because having differential rates, one at 8%, others at 16%, poses a problem, an integrity problem. People use it as a loophole to manipulate numbers, VAT in, VAT out. So the advice that my economic team working with Treasury gave was we must eliminate this loophole that people are exploiting, number one. Mimi nataka ni waambie, hii mafuta inaongezwa usiku na mchana. Mimi nataka ni waeleze ya kwamba these people don't understand the damage they are doing to the people and the economy of Kenya. Kwa hii taxes wanaongeza usiku na mchana. Na mimi nataka ni waulize watu wa hapa manga. Tapadhali. Mukiona tumesimama hapa mbele yenu. Tuna waambia ya kwamba tutengeneze hiyo serikali inakuja ambayo inaelewa lugha ya mwananchi wa kawaida. Watu wa manga muko tayari. The people telling us about Ukraine and, and, and Russia are also telling us that there is no shortage of fuel. They are also trying to blame um, oil marketers. So they are even conflicted in the reasons why we have an artificial crisis in the country. From their own statement, they are not sure of what to say. Is it because of the war in Ukraine or is it because of the crisis with our oil marketers? Which is which? And that goes to tell you that this crisis is orchestrated and it is as a result of the cartels and barons who, are, who have taken over using conflict of interest and state capture in our economy. I mean, a straight answer would be, how come that fuel in Uganda is cheaper than fuel in Kenya? So, uh, and yet the fuel being sold in Uganda goes through goes through Kenya. That, that tells you that uh, that kind of explanation is, is escapist and, and has no basis whatsoever. We should address ourselves to the crisis that is there in the country and the monopolies that have taken our fuel and economic sector captive.